guys, welcome to the show. Today we're going to talk about swallows from Monty Python and the Holy Grail. And, well, we're just going to get off topic and have some fun. Hope you enjoy. Um, let's see here. Okay. So swallows. That's a good question. What's what's the difference between the two? I know that one's migratory. Is African, I, I'd assume. Yeah, I believe the major difference is one of them is African and the other is European. That sounds about right. I'd assume. What facts can I find on swallows? I'm not sure you have to find um, the speed of an animal in the swallow. Yes, naturally, to see how it can carry a coconut. So, let's see. Um, what is the... Um, what is the weight of an African swallow? I get the eye and the E confused. And swallow. 20 grams. Oh, yes, here's a quote. This 20 gram swallow was found to flap its wing, wings at about 12 times every second, amplitude of 20 centimeters each time. Monty Python and the Holy Grail, airspeed, velocity of an unladen swallow. Okay, so it's about 11 meters per second for an European swallow, for the average air velocity. So that's that's cool. I guess. Let's see what else. Hmm. What else can I find here? Let's see. So, let's see. It cannot carry a one pound coconut, <laughs> considering it only weighs five ounces. That's eleven ounces less. <laughs> Oh gosh. Um, we should compare that uh, to how much a human can lift. Well, how many can they pull? Well, they, they can't even technically pick up a coconut. Well, yeah, you're, yeah, we need to find how much can a European swallow hold. Wait, can <coughs> European swallow carry? Um. <laughs> No, that's not what I want. No. Okay, so I, I found something else. It, it'll take 15 European swallows to even lift a single well, how coconut. How lift it up? Well, I, good question. Well, it, it says 10 to 15. So, doing simple math, that's at least 50 ounces, at least. <laughs> um you think yeah at least 50 ounces 
divided by 16. So 15 divided by 16. So each swallow would have to carry three houses. I think. I don't know if that's right, though. I could be wrong. So, um... Oh, what are your three questions asked in Monty Python? Uh, the first two questions were the same as for Lancelot, Robin, and Galahad the third. But the third was, what is the airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow? Arthur asked, which kind of swallow, African or European? And when the bridge keeper answered, I don't know that. And, and he was thrown into the gourd. That's quite amazing. One of my favorite moments, even though I still prefer it when the crouching tail was destroyed because the young leader had a sudden heart attack. <laughs> yeah. Hmm, let's see. Okay, so average weight is about 136.7 pounds. That doesn't sound right, but okay. So much weight can average lift average human um let's see here Um, 35 to 175 pounds with a 3 to 6 set. It doesn't... Interesting. I guess. I don't know. It's a good... <laughs> Um, let's see. Um, let's see here. African swallows. So, how much does it weigh? Um, how much does what weigh? Uh, African swallow. And according to Monty Python and the Holy Grail, a non migratory species of bird. Neither of which could <laughs> carry a coconut. <laughs> Why are you wondering if they can carry a coconut? Because they found the coconut in the middle of the forest in Europe. And they were using it to sound like horses <laughs> running. Oh, yeah. So the Naturally, a swallow is the one who carried it there. And it can't. Naturally. But then, uh, let's see. Um, uh, Galahad, we, we find out, I believe it's Galahad at least, he's the one that's sending the swallows with the coconuts. He's the one providing the coconuts to all of Europe. So, if I do say so, that is quite hilarious. But I also, I, I if I may add, I also like uh, how uh, they decide if she's a witch or not. That is amazing, because that makes absolute 
How did we decide? Sense. I, well, if she weighs as much as a duck, then she's a witch, because ducks float like wood, but bridge, but, uh... It, she could have also been a bridge, but bridges are also built out of stone. So, oh, and wood also burns. So, like, it, if wood floats and a duck floats, but like what? Then the, what time was? The witch will weigh as much as the wood. But what time was uh, Monty Python set in? Medieval times and a little bit. Of, so, uh, modern so times. So was a bridge actually made out of stone? At this time, it was around the time that the Black Plague was going through, but then again, they have no accurate history in this movie at all, which makes it even better. If I do say so myself. It's quite amazing. You should watch it on Netflix. It is my, if I do say, very good. <coughs> hmm. Like it, it's it's in my top five movies of the year, of forever, I should say. Hmm. Yeah, it it is quite quite amazing. But, um, yeah. Just the swallows. Swallows, if they could, if they could carry coconuts, there would probably be a lot more coconuts in Europe. Because the thing is what they would do with the coconuts, they would not carry them anymore and eat them, they would just drop them on the earth. Yeah, because that's what makes the most sense. It's just lugging them a couple hundred thousand miles, probably, probably not. And then just dropping them (laughs) on top of the head of a traveler on the search for a holy grail. Or at least knights to join them at Camelot. So... That is well, that is that quite. Do you carry stuff around? Just find oh. the yeah, that that makes the most sense. Just carrying it around until you find a random person and say, "I don't want this anymore. Here you go, take it, and have a good day." Because yeah, that that makes the most sense. It does. It it does. It it really does. It does. Yeah. It does. Can you hear me now? Yeah. There we go. Oh, You're I've live. been talking this whole time and you guys haven't been hearing me. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, man. Oh, well, I got a question for you guys. What? Oh, well. Well, here's the thing. You know what you do with coconuts what? that fall on your head, right? Because you got to take advantage of these situations. Yes. Yes, you do. Yes. All you have to do is use them to replicate the sounds of horses. Oh, Genius. Why didn't we think of this? Yeah, nobody's ever thought of this before. I know we're we're completely no, original. It, it's to- it did, it yeah, it's totally not, not like it's. Movie. Yeah, it's totally not in a movie. Yeah, we've totally not made been referencing in, like, the seventies. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure it was made in the seventies. Let's see. Comedy troupe. <laughs> The first thing it says suggested on your base uh, suggested based on your recent activity, Monty yep. Python airspeed velocity of an unladen swallow. It was released in 1975, April 27th. Yeah, 
Monty Python were a British surreal comedy troupe who created the sketch comedy television show Monty Python's Flying Circus, which first aired on the BBC in 1969. 45 episodes were made over four series. It was active until 2014? Yeah. What? Wow. Wow. But, but guess what they will never expect? What? A Spanish Inquisition. No. Oh, man. Oh, no. <laughs> I'm... Oh. I know. Yes, they, I they totally... will never... Nobody <laughs> expects the Spanish actually... Inquisition. What I love about Discord <laughs> is the spoiler images. I <laughs> so many times, and nobody's expected it to. Well, it's, it's, it it's just says it. it. But as soon as somebody oh. says, "You won't know it," something about not expecting something, you you expect the Spanish Inquisition. Yes. <laughs> yeah, you don't you don't expect sadness. You expect a Spanish Inquisition to bring you joy. Exactly. Yes. My word. <laughs> yeah, it, it is it is quite amazing. <laughs> yes. You know what else you what don't you expect? Mean? What? This. I don't know. What, what's I don't know. this? I'm not telling. Hmm. It'll, it'll always be a mystery. You will exactly. expect it. No You'll shot. never know. Yeah, will we? Never! But, like, <laughs> we need to know. Do we, though? But, like, we kind of The thing is, I have no idea, so. <laughs> oh. Exactly. <laughs> fair, fair enough. Fair, fair Wait. enough. Wait. Yeah, so, yeah. Confusion level a thousand. Um. Let's see. Um what? Um um um. What? What was I even gonna say? I don't remember. Good question. I don't remember. <laughs> oh oh, that's what I was gonna say. They might not expect. People thinking babies are food. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> Fair enough. Yeah. <laughs> Touche. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> I did not see that coming. <laughs> I don't know if I should be scared or not. No. You should. Should I? Uh, sure, oh, okay, I should. Sore, you want to tell the story? No. It's completely yeah. irrelevant. Oh, story time. Please, tell me a story. Okay. so bad. There was this unexpected thing. You guys didn't expect it. Because no. nobody expects the Spanish okay. Inquisition. Yes. No one does. I I never do. That that It would make no sense to expect a Spanish Inquisition. That, that's... <laughs> That's for sure. Hmm. Now, I think there's a very good chance that as I'm just sitting here in my house, far away from Mexico, I'm, we're, ge we're gonna be hit by a Spanish Inquisition. Yeah, you should never expect it. It, it, it always has to be unexpected. Well, okay. Because how, how, how are you supposed to expect a Spanish Inquisition? You should uh, check your Discord. Oh, should I be fearful? Yes. Ha 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 ha. ha. You don't expect. You want to oh. tell this? Nobody expects the Spanish Inquisition. That that one's mine. I see. This is what I send all the time. You you make me sad. <laughs> Extremely. Oh. I expect that now. Never expect the unexpected. <laughs> Number one rule of life. Oh. 
Oh, you're cutting out. Well, how do you expect something that's unexpected? Yeah. Yeah. Never expect the unexpected. Number one rule. Never expect the unexpected. Exactly. You do, then, then how are you going to have great comedy moments? Uh, that's what I would like to know. Exactly. If you expect... Yeah. If you expect like, everything. If you expect... Yeah. If you expect everything, then... Don't you kind of have to expect nothing? Exactly. Because that's how logic works. Yes, everything definitely equals nothing. Yes. It, it just makes sense. It does. In the way yes. that it doesn't. Yes, you are right about that. It, it 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 makes sense, but it also doesn't. Hey guys, we're gonna take a. This podcast is sponsored by Anchor. If you haven't heard about Anchor, it's the easiest way to make a podcast. Let me explain. One, it's free. Two, there's creation tools that allow you to record and edit your podcast right from your phone or computer. Anchor will distribute your podcast for you, so it can be heard on Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and many more. You can make money from your podcast with no minimum listenership. It's everything you need to make a podcast in one place. We use it to make this podcast. Download the free Anchor app or go to anchor.fm to get started. Go to anchor.fm to get started. Welcome back to the show. It, yes. Just like swallows carrying coconuts. Hey, it, you never know. It could be possible. Yes, if we get 15 of them together. Do... Yes. But Fif- how, would they, we, how would they carry we us? Kidnap 15, we kidnap 15 European swallows. No, African swallows can carry more. I think it would be easy to find European ones. I don't want to go to South Africa. Well, the thing is, if you uh, if you did if you did African swallows, you could take them farther because it wouldn't rain. Ha ha ha! Yeah, Britain is your confusion. Why? I because actually no, there would be also, more rain. Uh, there would be more rain. In Africa? Yes. Why? It's only Central Africa that has water issues. I know. That's where you'd get an African swallow. Because it's... No, it's South Africa. Do you not know where South Africa is? African I, I want you to go to Google exist, Earth. So... <laughs> Technically. Oh, I, I see. I see. I see. Technically, you know. As you said that, I accidentally closed my uh, tab about African swallows. Oh, how'd you even find Af- about African swallows? Like, how'd you even find it? Google.com slash search. Yeah, duh. But, like, I searched it and I can't find a thing. I just searched African swallows. Course. Yeah, it's simple. Yeah. <laughs> Did you not expect something so simple exactly. to work for such a simple topic? Is it though? Huh? It is. It mm. it's simple. Exactly. Yeah. Wait, they're they're native to central, western, and southern Africa. African swallows? Yeah. Uh, African swallows don't exist. Oh, yeah. What? African I, swallows I see. don't exist. Oh no, they do. I, South African cliff swallow. Yes. No, no, it's 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 just a government scam. That that explains everything, right? Mm-hmm. Why are we yeah. being scammed to believe in swallows existing? Good question. 
they, like this whole quarantine thing, it was so they could change the batteries in the birds. Exactly. <laughs> prove me wrong. I dare you. I <laughs> dare you to prove me sense. wrong. <laughs> okay, so I had a, I saw a sign that was like, birds aren't real, right? Yeah, on that sign, you yes. know what was there? An icon. What? That's, that was a Twitter icon. <laughs> And yes. I don't know if you wanted to know this, but the Twitter icon is a bird. So, um, <laughs> uh, yeah. About that. It, it just makes perfect <laughs> sense. Is wrong or is it a spy? <gasps> oh. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't know what to think anymore. Do, do I be scared? Yes. Or glad? <laughs> what, what are these feelings that I'm feeling at the moment? I don't know. I just... Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. See, yeah, the pandemic was, yeah, definitely, so they could just recharge them. And then they could, if anyone asked, yeah. it, it was just uh, they're in quarantine. Yeah. Well, it isn't. Well, see, another conspiracy. Birds were brought from the aliens. That's why they can fly, you know, without oh, yeah, alien jet powered engine. Alien technology. Yes, so that means that the government. The government is ran by aliens. Well, what about penguins? They're birds and they can't fly. Mark. Oh. Uh oh. They're just the, they're they're the beta version. <laughs> okay, that makes more sense. Yeah. Yes. You are welcome. That makes Wait absolutely total sense. Yeah. It doesn't. It does. Okay, so okay. everywhere that swallows are found, if you look on Google Earth, it's green. Questions. Yes. But then again, I could also be wrong. I know. Because, you know, well, see, that also means if, if the government is controlled by aliens because they are aliens. Elon Musk is an alien, and Mark Zuckerberg, Zuckerberg is a lizard alien. Why is he specifically a lizard? So therefore, have you seen what he looks oh. like? <laughs> so how about, oh okay, I have another theory, though. How about just all bald people are aliens? <laughs> no, uh, they're Dr. Robotniks. Oh, that actually... That, make, that, that makes... They're chasing after alien, blue alien hedgehogs oh. that go super fast. And just then, nothing else. It, it just, just makes then. sense. Like, yeah. I'm confused. Does anyone else like how Spain owns part of Africa? Yes. Yeah. I think it's quite comedic. Okay. And so anyway, the cool thing is, they have the most strict border control. <laughs> yeah. Swallows. Yeah, swallows. swallows. So, is there such thing as an African swallow? A majestic swallow? creature. <laughs> yes. Should there be? Well, no. Technically, there aren't because, um, I guess, there's no <laughs> such thing as a swallow. So, because birds. In general. Oh my gosh. What? <laughs> Tug these things. This is so true. <laughs> what about Ireland? Does Ireland even exist? I know the UK doesn't. Does that also make sense? The UK does too. Well, how did we go from birds not existing listen, to the UK not existing? 
<laughs> we went from birds be quarantine was used to char- change the batteries in the birds, and that the birds were brought by aliens. The government is an alien, which means Elon Musk and Mark Zuckerberg control the government. Wait, wait. What? To maybe Ireland doesn't exist, but the UK definitely doesn't exist. I mean, how could a person that's as old, older than the dinosaurs exist? Okay. They they quite literally meant long live the queen. <laughs> ha ha. She is never going to die. Her face will be seen for hundreds of millions of years. I'm pretty sure her children will die before her. Oh, no. Oh, man. <laughs> we should also nuke whales. <laughs> so why not? Oh, I did that last week. Don't worry if, about it. Uh, wait, you watch Studio C, right, Sor? Yes, I'm not an uncultured slime. Please tell, please, please tell me you you know. Please oh, tell. Oh, I, yeah. I just said a quote. <laughs> New okay. quails. New quails. Oh, uh, that's yes. the country. Oh yeah, we knew. New quails. <laughs> Those two. Well, there's whales. Okay. In there, uh, in the UK, which I assume that's what they're talking about. Then again, there's also new whales in. Australia. So, which one were they talking about? I don't know, but we just gotta. We we've gotta play. They were talking about both. He literally had a sign. No, right. he whales or whales like whales, the largest mammal on Earth. Whales or whales. England whales. I thought we were talking or about whales. whales. You, you can't. All right, guys. We could tell be me talking we... about either or. Tell me if we can hear this. <laughs> um, ooh, I I have. Can you hear this? A solution for the turtles. No. You have a solution for the turtles. Because yes. I uh, killed the turtles to save the straws. Save the straws to kill the turtles. Yes, I like your thinking. What? what? Why? Because die for them to be saved. That's awful. That's awful. That's awful. <laughs> no, it isn't. It's comedic. Yes, yes it you're is. a complete yes, animal species genocide. Absolutely. Hilarious. Yes. Yes. Very funny. Okay, so I have five, I have five minutes left. So one more thing I want to talk about. I, I like how most of Russia is Asian. What? Wait. Oh, that actually explains a lot. <laughs> It, it actually is mostly Asian. What? I know. If you it go at a lot. most of Russia was Russia. It... <laughs> uh, yeah. I'm pretty sure all of Russia is Russia. At least I'd assume so. Yes, but you never assume. We should try to walk from Alaska to Russia. It's possible. Alaska? No, it's not. Uh-oh. Uh, yeah, it is. No, it's not. How far is Alaska from Russia? Thousands of miles away. Not what I wanted. Including How far is Russia? Are you going to be walking under no, the ocean? No, it's approximately 55 miles. Uh, it's winter. We could, we could cross. I don't think there's oh, that much ice. Tucker, it's... No. I think you're looking Considering... at a map. Not... C- considering Penguin Lake has two feet of ice right now, I I know because I saw it today. It has two feet of ice, and we are here, so I'd assume that up there is okay. Oh my gosh! Why? 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 But um, 
the Bering Strait, which separates Alaska from Russia, is approximately 55 miles. Mm-hmm. Sure. So if we... How many miles can a human walk in an hour? It's roughly four miles, so... Five by four. Uh, can a human walk three to four miles per hour, or one mile every fifteen to twenty minutes? So it'll take us approximately thirteen point seven five hours to walk from Alaska to Russia. That's certainly possible. We should plan a trip. Sure. T- tame some caribou along the way. Right, <laughs> Sven. Why? Into the sunset. Uh, no. no. <laughs> Just go along with okay. my confusion. <laughs> no. Listen, you should agree with me. I should. Because you should, because. Oh, yes. So <laughs> stop. <laughs> I like how you're implying that swallows don't exist. And then nuke whales. <laughs> I know. By the way, swallows do exist. Well, they're animatronics. So do okay, they actually exist? They technically they exist. Oh, yeah, yeah they are. are. What we think they are, but they exist. Mind blown. <laughs> that's prob- that's probably the most intellectual thing we've heard all night. There's also yeah. what knowing the me. Unexpected. Yes, I live by that rule. I I live by that rule. And that that is a rule that I live by. So. It's quite amazing, if you ask me. Hey, and there's also a little clump of land in between Alaska and Russia. It's it's <laughs> literally in the halfway point. Like, you walk halfway one day, or even borrow, with quotations, a uh, snow machine. Mm. What? Why a snow machine? No. It, no. Oh, there, there's a whale in Alaska. So what are we doing with the snow machine? What? Oh. <laughs> what? Uh, we are borrowing them. Quotation. Quotation. To get from, Al- from to get to from Alaska to Russia. Okay. So. How do and we will. Go? Good question. Swallows to talking about Russia, like right? because it just follow her, just follow along with my insanity, which I have long come to realize down. existed. So we will leave from Wales, Alaska, go to Diomede, which is the halfway point, rest up for a day, and then we will continue our path to. Yulene. <laughs> Voila. That makes perfect sense. On the way we'll Oh, have you heard noise. of... Okay, yes. Up, the animal. What, one, one last thing before I have to go, because like, I need to go. Uh, have mm-hmm. you heard of this street? What? Okay, okay, so... I haven't said that. So, this street. What's that? So, a cool story about this street. This street... What street? Is... Don't worry. It's in Canada. But what street? What street? This street. What street? It's... (laughs) <laughs> it's quite literally called This Street. Oh! That is an unfortunate name. It's called This Street. 
it, it's this street, and then that, uh, let's see, can I remember the order? Uh, please show up. Please have the name show up. I, I would like to see the other two streets, or three streets. Well, short story, sh long story short, there's this street, that street, and the other street. Okay, and they are all in Canada. Of course they are. In Nova Scott. Nova Scotia. <laughs> Nova <what>? Scott. <laughs> Listen. So this street is quite interesting, quite comedic as well. Let's see if I go. Um, uh, well, anyway, if I could see it, it's, uh, well, maybe I could. If I just go here. Uh, at others. No. Apparently, there's that other sh thrift store, Coon Rapids, in Minnesota. Why? Why did you do that? I don't know. But, anyways, goodbye. I'm going to have to go. Okay. Right. Such good times we have had. Yeah. Thank you for talking with us about the swallows and then yeah. about Alaska to Russia. And birds. And then that street. Yes, and birds. Bird conspiracies. Well, goodbye. Goodbye. Well, I guess I gotta end it. Alright, see ya. Hey, I see you made it to the end. Hope you enjoyed this uh, lovely podcast that we put together. If you want more, do something. Yes. Goodbye.